Imagine looking up at the night sky. The stars and planets shine as usual, until something new appears. It's not a star but a spot of perfect blackness, moving steadily toward us. At first astronomers are curious, but soon, its path is clear. It's heading for our solar system. This is no ordinary object, it's a black hole, a cosmic monster from the darkness between the stars. News spreads fast, scientists scramble to explain, governments urge calm, but fear grows. Keep watching, you'll discover something almost no one knows. The black hole is invisible, a hole in space-time that swallows light. We can't see it directly, but we see its effects. As it nears, it bends starlight warping the sky with a strange, shimmering halo. The rules of our cosmic neighborhood are about to change. For now, life goes on. The black hole is still far away, out past Neptune. What is a black hole? Imagine crushing a star bigger than our sun into a ball the size of a city. Its gravity becomes so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. The boundary around it is called the event horizon. Cross it, and you never return. At the center is a singularity, a point of infinite density where physics breaks down. Black holes don't suck things in, they pull, and anything that falls in is lost forever. They're born from the death of massive stars. When a giant star collapses, it explodes as a supernova, leaving a black hole behind. Some black holes are just a few times the mass of our sun, stellar mass black holes. Others are supermassive, millions or billions of times heavier, lurking at the centers of galaxies. The black hole in our story is likely a stellar mass one, but even that is enough to threaten our solar system. The first signs of trouble appear at the edge of our solar system, in the Oort cloud, a vast shell of icy comets. The black hole's gravity stirs this calm region, sending comets tumbling inward. A storm of millions of comets begins, lighting up the sky with shooting stars. It's beautiful, but deadly. Some comets are flung out of the solar system, but many head toward the sun and us. We're at the midpoint, and things are about to get even better. An impact from a large comet could trigger earthquakes, tsunamis, and block out the sun, plunging Earth into a new ice age. The Kuiper Belt, home to Pluto, is also thrown into chaos. Orbits become wild, the outer solar system a mess of crisscrossing paths. As the black hole moves closer, the giant outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, feel its pull. Their orbits warp, drifting from their ancient paths. Jupiter's gravity, once our shield, is no match. Its orbit stretches, breaking the solar system's balance. Saturn's rings may be stripped away, the asteroid belt scattered. Some asteroids are flung into the Sun, others toward the inner planets, including Earth. Even the Sun is threatened. If the black hole passes close, it could siphon gas from our star, forming a glowing accretion disk. The sky would have two suns, our familiar one, and a new, terrifyingly bright point. Earth's fate? We could be flung into deep space, freeze in darkness or be pushed closer to the sun and burn. Most likely we'd be ejected from the solar system, cast into the void. What if the black hole came directly for us? The end would be swift, its gravity would stretch Earth, triggering global earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The atmosphere would be stripped away, leaving us exposed to space. Then comes spaghettification. Earth pulled into a thin stream spiraling into the black hole. Our world, with all its history and life, reduced to atoms falling into darkness. There would be no explosion, just a silent, final end. Could this really happen? Almost certainly not. Space is vast and black holes rarely wander close. Scientists watch for them, but our cosmic neighborhood is safe, for now. Still, this thought experiment reminds us, the universe is powerful and indifferent.